quick story about how he looks like this now. After an NCAA player turned to a Pacific Q. Can we take him as a sub next Thursday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick him up. What are you doing next Thursday? Listen, listen. Uh, yeah, we got it. Guys, hold the ball. Hold the ball. Let's go. Let's hear it. I'm right there Tuesday, so if you find a way to keep me there. Yo, yo, change against the Monday. No, no, it's not. We're going to get up for everyone and then. It's okay, it looks official. It looks official, yeah. Okay. Cool. Also, right. I, have a, I was told just a few minutes, but I always have to, you know, when you go to Yeshiva and things, they always teach you to start with jokes. So, but this isn't a joke. So, Sarah and Rivka are driving the car. Sarah's got the wheel. And Rivka, Rivka never rode with Sarah before. So, she's driving Sarah, and the person she passes doesn't stop at a stop sign. And Rivka, like, you know, it's the first time, she doesn't really know, so she doesn't, doesn't say anything of it. And then, you know, next thing you know, Sarah uh, Rivka's driving and she misses now a, a, a red light. She, keeps, she just drives through it. And then Sarah doesn't say anything. She's like, but she's kind of concerned now, like, what's what's going on? And then, next thing you know, she still doesn't say anything. Next thing you know, she goes horizontal on a four, four, uh, four-way four highway. And Sarah screams, Rivka, what are you doing? Says, Why are you driving like this? She says, wait, I'm driving? I heard it once, it's used in a way of expressing, you know, sometimes we forget who's in the, the driver's seat of our lives. We're in the driver's seat of our lives. So, a little bit about myself. I grew up in Houston, Texas. You know, since I was a young boy, I think it was either my brother or myself, our, my first word was ball. So, basketball quickly became this whole passion and something I started when I was four years old. I had the opportunity to play other sports as well growing up. Once I got to high school, I knew I wanted to focus on one sport that I would, God willing, be able to play in college. And thank God, put on a lot of uh, you know, effort on the, on the floor, practicing dribbling, shooting, anything needed, and uh, had the opportunity to play, even though it was a small, small school in Dallas, I had the opportunity to take, take my talents to college hopes to continue uh, playing and I had the opportunity also went to Israel a couple times to, whether it was training with some coaches or just playing in like different tryouts didn't ultimately end up deciding to go there but some of you guys might know Tamir Goodman uh, yeah. the, knowing the name the Jewish Jordan so I had the opportunity to help him out of his camps and but long story short what was it that I enjoyed and, and got him aligned with so to speak the most with basketball was that state of flow, that athlete zone that I'm sure all you guys can relate with, relate to, which when you're so present in the moment, it's like nothing mad, nothing else matters. You're just so, it's like God is just playing through you. The hoop, at least for me, I'm a shooter, so it looks like a hula hoop and I can just throw the ball up and I know it's going in. You know, even if you make a mistake, quote unquote, you turn the ball over, when you're in the zone, you don't judge the situation. You just keep playing as if it was meant to happen. And, and sometimes that, that bad decision turns into something actually better than you could have imagined had you not made that mistake. So that's that zone. That, that led me into re-exploring another aspect and expression of myself that I'm, I'm passionate about and into um, doing as well is holistic health. So that, that zone, the athlete zone, led me to explore and learn about nutrition, mindset, meditation, really all mind, body, and soul health. And within, within that, you know, obviously, where did Judaism come in the picture? Thank God I was raised always with a strong Jewish identity. But I think it was really through being in touch with, asking myself, especially with basketball, what, what is it, and it's for you guys as well, what is it that you really uh, align with, what you're really in tune with about a certain thing that you're so passionate about? For me, it was basketball, that I spent so my you know, blood, sweat, and tears, and so many hours in. And then really, when I took some time to reflect, I recognized that you know it was this this state of being, the state of mind. Because when I was in that zone, I wasn't just playing good on the court, but I was responding to the situations outside, off the court as well, much better. And that, you know, also practicing, learning a little bit about meditation, really being able to go within, within oneself. You know, like it says, one of the first parshas, Lech Lecha, tell, uh, Hashem tells Abraham, he tells him to go within himself to see. You know, to go to, to his inner, innermost part of himself, and that we can and see. You know, regardless of what we're what we're wearing, how we express our Judaism, that's that's at our deepest core. That's who we are. 
And so when through, so I can say through the health journey, through the holistic health, really tapping into who I am, who, what's the, the deepest part of myself, that is recognizing that, that I am my essence as, is, a, is a Jew. And that inspired me to re-explore and learn about Hasidus and Judaism and, and eventually want to take on uh, Torah and mitzvahs and, and express it outwardly. You know, God is, God is in, inside of us most importantly. There's also another level, you know, it's, you can look at things like surface level. We're not how we look. It's everything else on the inside. But there's also another level that it's important to express who you are on your deepest level. So I, I'm grateful to, to be here with you guys. Basketball always has a soft spot, in, soft spot in my heart and I'm looking forward to using it, you know, as a language like, like the Ayer is doing. So, so Mazel Tov for this whole community that you've built. Thank you. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Let's put talking inside basketball itself as a language. Yeah. So let's get to playing. Let's go.